Hi, I'm Adam Reese, we're back here at Grid Gym, and today we're going to go over a way that we can modify the reverse hyper so we don't have to spend a lot of money on a piece of equipment that we only use a few times throughout the year. Um, before I start this, I want to say I don't, I'm not like super in love with reverse hypers, I think they have their place, but anyway, we're going to go through it now. What we're going to use, we're going to use um, a medium sized box, we're going to use a stability ball, we're going to use a kettlebell. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to take the band and I'm going to wrap it around one leg to the other and loop my foot through this side, which is uh, a little bit of the tricky part. Then I'm going to set my feet. I'm going to put the ball on top of the box. And after that, I need something to hold on to so that I can pull myself through. And I'm just going to put my hips up on the ball. And it's important that you set up so that when you roll forward, you're not going to roll the ball right off the end of the box. Um, otherwise, we're talking pretty potentially dangerous stuff. So start back with the box, get up on it, okay. The tension is gonna be at your ankles. Keep your neck packed, drive up to like an isometric position, just pull back, squeeze your butt, and come back down. And that's a way that we can get a very inexpensive reverse hyper. Now I'm taking it off, it's always a little bit of an interesting challenge. All this was, was the apron that we use, we use a squat rack, a stability ball, box, kettlebell, band. Uh, until next time, try that out.